a issue. Okay, so so the with this assignment, I want you to just focus on hardware 2.0. So hardware 2.0 for setting up your uh, main image, and then hardware 2.0 to set up your show reel. So as part of uh, the, the assignments is you have to produce a show reel. So it's basically like a small camera movements um, and rendering. Now, hardware 2.0, you get really good results quite quickly and the learning is so much faster as well as the compatibility is, um, you know, what you see is what you get. So you don't get, have any of these sort of issues uh, in the in the background and, and so forth. So the complexity is so much less than using an offline renderer. However, if, if you're really keen to understand Arnold, I would recommend just focusing on hardware 2.0 for this semester and then at the end of semester, uh, uh, relighting your scene using Arnold and, and so forth. Now, the good thing is you can actually do, do both. Uh, I'll come back to that, Spencer. Um, you can actually do do both. You can light your scene with hardware 2.0 and then convert it to, to Arnold. Now, if you really want to do an Arnold render, I recommend, yeah, maybe for the still image, that'd be okay. However, if you want to do the show reel, you're going to have to have at least a week um, if not more, to time to render out your scene. Uh, just the iteration process, setting up the lights, everything like that takes a, a lot longer and also the rendering time takes a lot longer. So basically you have to be finished this project two weeks before the end of semester and then start rendering and then you'll have time to submit it. Otherwise, you'll, you'll, you'll go over time. So what I'm going to show you now is how I would convert a hardware 2.0 render to Arnold. So here's my scene, and this is set up for uh, hardware 2.0. Now, oh, notice that the backdrop, we're not actually seeing the sky dome. So that's where this other uh, sky dome is quite handy. Have I got rid of that? I might just bring it back. So this is this the environment, right, that I created just a minute ago. And we did that by reversing the normals, uh, making it uh, single-sided, so taking the double-sided off, and just using a, uh, in this case, we've got a Lambert on it, but I'd actually prefer to use just a standard surface shader and attaching an image to that. Okay, so that looks, that looks fine. Um, but if we have both of them, we, we've got best of both worlds. So I'll bring in the file and so now we've got it illuminated as well as if I render that out we'll have the background there as well there we go okay so this is hardware 2.0 and like the rendering time took no time at all it was super quick now if we were to change this to Arnold I could just render it from the render window, like so. And remember, this is not that complicated scene. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually, without much alterations. However, there's, you know, it does look a lot different. So there's reflections in, in the materials and, and so forth. Um, and then there's also noise issues. So the render, the setup is not quite right. So there's all these noise issues in there. Um, so I could, I could just uh, uh, fix this 
quite quickly. And what, what we're probably actually seeing is uh, not the effect of the lights, but the effect of the sky dome just lighting everything uh, and the lights are, are being ignored. So I'm just going to quickly demo how I'd uh, fix this up. So if I go into the Arnold Render Viewer, just turn on the IPR, so Instant Preview Render, like so. And then I might come up into the light linkage, a uh, light editor, and I'll just turn off the sky dome, so we can see exactly what the lights lights are doing without the sky dome. Uh, you know what's happening? It's actually being illuminated by the sphere as well. So I'll hide that. There we go. So this is actually what our lights are doing. And you, if I change the exposure, you can see see them there, but it's really they're really low. All right. So but what we can do is we can take our Maya lights. So I've got my key light here and I can convert this to a, a Arnold light. Now with the normalized, if we had that turned on and then, you know, increase the values, that would actually help us uh, achieve a similar sort of result. So what you see in the viewport here is similar to what you see um, in the Arnold render when normalized is turned on, basically. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave that at one. And the better thing to do is actually to come down to see how it hasn't changed, it hasn't updated uh, when I change the normalize, is to come down into Arnold of this light and then use exposure and re-expose that light for for what you want what you want. Okay. So you can see that it's looking pretty good. I might just increase the exposure. So exposure is a bit like f-stop. So I'll do that. Um, and the other things that we have down here, which are quite nice, is use color temperature. So I could change the color temperature and select a Kelvin color uh, temperature range. And that, that looked pretty good. Um, what else can we do down here? Uh, that's about it. So we'd have to do that to each of the individual lights. Now, point lights actually can be problematic in Arnold because you can get uh, uh, fireflies, but um, that's okay in the in the specular highlights. So if I have 16 and fireflies are like dots that are, you know, really overexposed. So as I said, work with hardware 2.0, get it looking really good, and then uh, later you could muck around with the, the Arnold lights. Um, but if you work within the Arnold workflow, it's going to be so much slower and there's going to be problems down the track, especially with uh, texturing and, and, and so forth. Um, it's going to be a, a lot uh, difficult. Now, having said that, right, that's how you'd approach this project and learning at the start. If I was doing this from scratch um, and doing a Arnold render from scratch, I wouldn't actually use the uh, view 2.0. I'd turn off all the lights in here. Uh, I'd turn off textures. I'd actually just have it, you know, probably as wireframe, something like that. And um, then I would open up the Arnold Render Viewer and sort of dock that in here like so. And instead of using the Maya lights, I just use the Arnold lights. And there's only actually a, an area light. 
there's no point light and there's no um, spotlight. But yeah, I'd take, say, the area light. So with all lights, not just Arnold lights, you can actually look through the light. So if you go look through selected, you can look through any object and you can rotate it how you want. So if I press the bust and press F, I'll focus in on that. So I'll go back to my camera. And yeah, you can sort of start to see now, by default, it's like really low. So then I'd have to go in and change the exposure. So maybe something like six, change the scale like so, and start to work with, with that light. So you can see that the samples are, are pretty low and you can see that the rendering time is pretty, pretty slow. So it took 10 seconds to render that, but it's really noisy. So first of all, I'd probably uh, add some additional samples to that light. And that's looking a bit better. But, you know, every time I do that, it's like it's going to take twice as long to render. Um, and this is a small file as well, remember. And, yeah, then I'd have to go in here and fix up some render settings. Uh, I could enable the adaptive surface anti-aliasing. So this is basically timesing the values. Uh, so each each time you go up a value, it's timesing it by itself. So you can see you get like huge numbers. And you know your rendering time start to increase. So instead of taking like one second or less than a second to render, I'm now starting to take 30 seconds or a minute to render um, or, you know, five minutes to render or an hour to render a frame. Or if you're doing a poster, it might take eight hours to render. So, yeah, but the advantage is you have indirect lighting, you have bounce lighting and so forth. So, you yeah, Generally speaking, you you kind of like work within one uh, workflow, um, but we're working within the hardware 2.0 workflow um, rather than the um, 